Dr. Corrine Allen, international author, lecturer, researcher, and practitioner in natural health, nutrition, and neurodevelopmental education for over 30 years, is an expert on how to affect brain health, learning, and behavior problems without using drugs. She's a recognized healthcare leader for her natural and practical approach to health regarding natural and alternative methods of stimulating permanent changes in the brain for issues like ADD, autism, Asperger's, dyslexia, learning disabilities, academic and behavioral issues, and acute and chronic brain injuries. She has developed a brain program which facilitates the connection of neurological pathways for brain cells which have been injured, damaged, missing, or not properly working. Dr. Allen's brain research is applied in the Advanced Learning and Development Institute's brain programs. Through the Advanced Learning and Development Brain Camps, Dr. Allen's method of repairing the brain has helped many families find help, solutions, and hope for their brain problems. Now let's join Dr. Corrine Allen as she speaks on your brain on water. And I appreciate all your interest in the brain. How many of you have personal friends or family who have brain issues on any spectrum? That we're not talking about autism good. We we see it everywhere. We now have one in seventy-five on the autism spectrum. Uh, research shows that seven out of ten people are actually have some kind of injury in the brain from birth. And we see statistics that now say one in ten have brain injury on some level. And I think if anybody is a teacher or a worker in the public school system, you understand and know that we have a very serious problem. And it becomes very, very serious when that problem comes into your own family and into your own home, right? And it's what do we do about it? And what can we do about it within our financial means? Because these things can break the budget. So we're going to give you some exciting things tonight about how you can share this with others and use it more effectively for yourselves. I've been in the natural health field for over 30 years and I'm going to tell on myself a bit tonight because you know a lot of us in the field think we've learned a lot and we have and we know a lot and we do but we never know enough and I told people to use the wrong kind of water for a lot of years. And one of, you know, the things that um, when I found good water, the best water, I immediately grabbed onto it because I had been teaching people about pH and acid alkaline and we tried all the products that we could think of to get that to work for them and of course the diets and nothing worked like what we're going to show you tonight. And because we have a brain center where we work with brain injuries and actually do a two-week intense program to help the brain to re-circuit um, its pathways and do them permanently, water is a very core part of that issue. So we're just going to talk about the full spectrum of brain issues tonight and how the water, um, the very special water that we're going to talk about tonight is going to help them. Your brain on water. You know that water is the very most important ingredient in your health. How many of you believe that? Now, I believed that 30 years ago, but I didn't practice it. And I didn't have a way to give people the best avenue to get that water into them. It's the one big secret that is being missed. Water is essential to superior health and wellness. And we're particularly concentrating on the brain because that is the part today that is exponentially out of control. Now the composition of water, we have water in the body, we have it in the brain, 80 percent of your brain is water. How come nobody talks about water in your brain? How come nobody says take this for your problem? They say take this pill or take this nutrient and we forget about water. Our purpose tonight is to show you how the first and the foremost thing that we want to do is we want to do water, but the right kind of water, because folks, we're going to show you that if you do the wrong kind of water, you're really wasting your effort. Now the body is 75% water, and in that you have your um, bones, they need water, 
your kidneys, look how high your kidneys are, 82%. No wonder people get kidney infections and kidney problems because they cannot flush those kidneys if you don't have them filled with 82% water. And your muscles need 75. How many of you get muscle aches and pains? And um, there's not enough water flushing the toxins out. And then the blood, look at that, 90%. Is it any wonder why people that drink coffee and sodas and very little water get hardening of the arteries and we have such a high amount of people in our population today that are on cholesterol medications and heart disease is the number one killer? It's because 90% of the blood is water. Your brain on water. Your brain is the missing link in the health of your brain. It's the essence of life. It has the electromagnetic current that fuels our cells. It's a resonance field. It's all electrical through which the cells communicate. So if you want transfer of DNA, you've got to have the proper water. It's the conduit and the transmission of the vibrational information. The water transports, it stabilizes, it signals, it lubricates, and it structures. It does almost everything. And without it, you can't have brain neurotransmissions that are working properly. How does the body use the water? It uses it to produce hydroelectric energy, especially in the brain. How many of you have ever seen a, a hydroelectric water in the home? I have. I live in Idaho. Lots of people live off the grid there. I've seen an entire ranch set up on hydroelectric, and you don't get electricity if the water isn't flushing and moving and has a charge to it. And that's the same with our brain. Your water has to be flushing and moving. It has to be a lot or you don't get a charge. You can use water to make protein and enzymes function efficiently. It transports nutrients, it transports hormones and other elements, and it keeps your tissues from drying out. How does your body use water? The Mayo Clinic gives us these examples that it moistens in our mouth, our lips. When we have dry lips, dry hair, dry skin, it's all dehydration. It protects the organs and the tissues when they start to shrivel up, and um, that is part of dehydration. Constipation, diarrhea. It helps dissolve minerals and other things. Minerals get hardened in our brain and start giving us um, sclerosis in our arteries. It regulates our body temperature. It helps lubricate the joints. You've heard people say how they can now do things that they couldn't do before because their joints start being lubricated. It lessens the burdens on the kidney and it carries oxygen to the cells. Other functions of water is that it slows down the cell death. And because we don't see the cell death, we often don't think that we're dying. We're all dying. But we can slow that process down. It lubricates and it cushions. The water flushes out the toxins and poisons. And it helps produce digestive en enzymes. And a lot of us have seen how water, and particularly special ionized microclustered water, can move away the aches and the pains in the body. The brain absolutely desperately needs water to function at its best. And even mild dehydration slows the metabolism down by as much as 3%. And we're going to show you what happens and some of the signs of dehydration. One of the things that um, people don't realize is how does water get lost? In, in my life, I have that was not part of my coursework to study to become a natural health practitioner. We never had a course on water. It was like at the end of the sentence, it was drink lots of water. But there was never any teaching on drink the right kind of water and drink water that's electrical, drink water that's a free radical scavenger, drink water that's going to hydrate. We lose water by sweating. We, when we urinate or have a bowel movement, we lose water. And in a normal day, a person has to drink a significant amount of water to replace that fluid loss that is for normal metabolism. If you happen to drink a cup of coffee a day, or you have a glass of wine, or you have a soda, your need will move up exponentially, and even the basic amount of water will not hydrate you. Causes of dehydration, a very easy cause is you just didn't drink enough water.